what is good with y'all, man. It's crunch time. Hit the like if y'all joining in. Now, it's a lot we got to talk about right now, right? Because we about to talk about the situation with Wade, Braun, and the Heat. Now, this is this is interesting because I recently had put Wade over LeBron on my top list from um of the players from two thousand. That's that's recently what I did. And also, man, we me, uh Chaz, O C D A, et cetera, man, we've been talking about that era l- lately a lot. And it come down to the super team Miami Heat and you know, talking about Wee's value. Uh Chaz has been has been breaking down the film on that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put his info I'm gonna put his info in the description for all of for all of that. And so Roy Hibbert from them Indiana Pacers teams has basically come out and basically further confirmed everything that we be saying, not only about Wade, but also about that, that time period with them series and it just shines more light on D Wade and it's crazy the timing simply because I just now basically had just now put Wade over LeBron James when I made that uh, top players of the 2000s list because really Wade was better than LeBron in the 2000s. So then you have to ask who was actually better when he was winning on on the team together because remember Wade averaged 30 versus Celtics, meaning he's the reason why they finally took down the Celtics. Uh, he was more versatile on and off the ball than a dude like LeBron James and played better than him in the first finals they teamed up. So now Rory Hibbert is now saying that um Rory Hibbert is now saying that Wade was the best player uh basically against the Pacers. And this is deep into the Miami Heat super team uh playoff runs now. This was dropped to the exclusive uh you know uh group chat that I am a part of. And so all of the homies in there, man. We have all of the criteria and the evidence in there. It's deeper than Reddit. We got more... Hey, listen, that group chat got more information than Reddit. As I'm about to actually react to this video, I haven't even heard what Rory Hibbert said yet. My son. Myself and the Indiana Pacers went to war with the Miami Heatles back in the day. But as great as LeBron James was and still is, Dwayne Wade was actually more of a thorn in my side. So that is the opening line. He said, Dwayne Wade was actually more of a thorn in my side. And right when I heard that, I had to just hit pause and come and do this stream. So I need so I need y'all to literally, literally bear with me as we about to hear Roy Hibbert, who was there, break it down. And this is not a, this is not AI. This is not Allen Iverson. This is not the answer. This is not none of that. This is Roy Hibbert, who was there, who was actually in the field and career basically dwindled down after this series. I mean, this whole stretch was how in- intense it was. He was there. And it seemed like he put a lot of time, you know, putting this video together. He, I feel as though he wouldn't be lying about this, though. It took a lot of time to make this video. And eventually win a championship, a couple of them, actually. Is that I felt D-Wade did to help beat those hands born on my side. So in today's video, I want to talk about the three things that I felt D-Wade did to help beat those handsome and trend-setting sporty pacers. All right, let me pause. Let me uh speed this up. Big pause on that. Let me speed Let me speed this up to avoid the copyright. And eventually win a championship. A couple of them, actually. But also later on, I want to bring on Eric Reynolds, a guard from St. Joe's, to get his thoughts on one of his favorite players. First off, I want to say D-Wade plays so well without the ball. He cuts beautifully back door for some tough finishes around the rim. And some of those are actually dunks. And if you've watched my channel, you know I hate dunks in the half court. Hold on, bro. This is what we be saying. He's better off the ball than LeBron James. And I'm telling y'all, he's a better finisher than LeBron James because he's more acrobatic. I've been telling y'all this for a minute. Bro, I'm glad that Roy Hibbert is breaking it down because, like I told y'all, LeBron struggles to finish acrobatically against tough seven-footers. We had, like, D-Rose-esque and Michael Jordan-esque finishing. I'm telling you, dog, with the with the downhill LeBron-type freight train-type finishing because he'll yam on you just like how he did uh, Virgil. 
That's just bad defense right there. But all those backdoor cuts actually put a lot of pressure on me at the rim. D-Wade was always, always, always trying to get me in foul trouble. But I learned this. If you turned your head and ball watch LeBron, he's cut. <laughs> bro, this is, this, he, bro, tell him. If you overhelp, you know, or you're out of position, he's cut. Even if you have the best, the, the best of intentions, he's cut. All right, here. See, this is a thing. I think that what he's talking about now is how we cuss without the ball. LeBron James, this is what I really, this is my theory on LeBron from 2011. I think that LeBron James in 2011 was unable to thrive in that type of role because he don't have elite off the ball consistent skills. Yes, he can come off the dribble, I mean off the ball sometimes because he has athleticism. So when he sees a lane, it's like, oh yeah, yup, yup. Oh, oh yeah, the lane open. Oh yeah, throw it up. Or if he sees that you about to get a fast break dunk, he'll he'll just chase you down behind. If you, I'm talking about if you on his team, he'll chase you down when you about to get a fast break layup and make you throw it out the glass, make you throw it up to him so he can get the two points. So he don't know how to actually thrive when he's on when he's in an off ball type of uh, role and still average 25, 27 because he's not gonna cut and consistently had to catch it and turn around and jump immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like those type of finishes where you got to finish on the fly. You don't know what type of ac acrobatic move you're going to have to do. It's not just a one-two tomahawk where you got to really, you know what I'm saying, have eyes in the back of your head sometimes when it comes down to that, have English sometimes when it comes down to that. But Wade Wade was like, okay, since you don't know how to do that, I'm going to go ahead and do that, let you play on the ball because I can still get 25 off the ball. I can still cut, and this is Roy Hibbert is talking about because this is after 2011. Two minutes ago, two and a half in the fourth, 85-84. Ooh, good cut. Ooh. So if he's cutting, and he right now he just showed LeBron James. He's actually breaking down the film right now. He just showed LeBron James, and I want y'all to go watch his video, man. Shout out Roy Hibbert. He's breaking down how LeBron is basically getting a lot of his assists to Dwayne Wade. If Dwayne Wade don't cut like that, I mean, who is LeBron going to be playmaking to? All right. Everybody thinks LeBron has the ball. He's the focal point right here. I'm guarding Chris. So he's, hold on, time out, y'all. Hold on. See, he said that LeBron, see, and this is what I told y'all, bro. He's saying that LeBron James is not the focal point. I can't believe he really cooking LeBron like this. Bosh, back screen is set. Chris Bosh is a good three point shooter, so I'm in a little bit of no man's the ball. He's the focal point right here. 584. Ooh, good cut. Ooh. All right. Everybody thinks LeBron has the ball. He's the focal point right here. I'm guarding Chris Bosh. Back screen is set. Chris Bosh is a good three point shooter, so I'm in a little bit of no man's land right here. I could either like back up to here, back up with D Wade at the basket, which I probably should have done because that's the that's what happens. But then if Lance is so gung ho on getting back to D Wade, um, he's just gonna leave my man open the three point line for a three point shot. So, so look at this is the elite type of help that you have on your team. This is what I be trying to tell you. These are you on somebody else's team. You have the best player. And then you got role players doing this type of stuff. So most dudes' power forward is not no threat from this far up outside of the paint or um, this much by the three-point line. That's why Paul George, we're going to do another uh, stream about Paul George. He just basically said how how Chris Bosh changed the whole NBA by playing a five. And most of the time, the dude cutting to the paint is not on a level with D-Wade, uh, basically the, you know the maybe the second best shooting guard in the league at this time. So LeBron James has just all this luxury, and this is if this Ray Allen over here, you can't leave him. You know you can't leave these two over here. The, look at this spacing, bro. You can't do nothing, and LeBron James barely can even be his man. Like if that's why I say if you if 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 you put any other dude on this team with Wade and Bosh, bro, dudes that can actually beat their man off the dribble, it's it's gonna be bro. That's that's too easy, bro. I'm not the quickest of foot, so I'm probably not going to get there to recover in time. So I kind of mess Lance up here. I should I should be either helping or sticking to my man or telling. I guess D, D, D West is on the same side, so he can't he can't help. D, D Wade's cutting here is great. He cuts. No one is the wiser. And as good as LeBron is, he's a great passer. D Wade did things that, like cutting back door without the ball. This may have been a, a drawn up play, but if that play was to to, to go haywire, LeBron's going to go one on one again. And then you know what I said before? He's going to cut. He's gonna cut if there's an opening. You ball watch. You're gonna cut. The ball's advancing. Mario Chalmers at the ball. Double drag. D Wade is on Chris Bosh. LeBron. PG's on LeBron. Comes off half. I'm guarding. I'm guarding. Boom. That. That's what I'm saying. This dude was always trying to get me. A <laughs> 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 
Man, it's, it's just crazy, man, how it's just divine timing because we, it's funny how he, he dropped this video and we just got, we're basically about to be finished watching all the Patriot series versus the Heat. Well, that's and, all y'all been watching. Yeah, facts. And it, it's, it's just funny because the three things that he said that made D-Wade special in that series, he said, one, his off-ball cuts. I already watched the video. Two, oh, wait, shout out to Tuto. Uh, two, his offensive rebound, and, and three, his steals and his blocks. And if you just break down the dynamics of how he explained how D-Wade was doing those things and what he, how he was impacting the game, like I'll just read out his bio inside of the same video that you got up right now. He said, join me as I take a trip down memory lane back to the time where the Indiana Pacers faced off against the Miami Heat, featuring Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. In this video, I break down my personal experiences and insights from that intense series and explain why I believe Dwayne Wade was the key player who made a difference for the Heat. From clutch moments to the way Wade's presence shaped the game. I'll dive into, de into details that led me to think he outshined LeBron when it mattered most. Oh my don't, gosh. Don't miss the behind the scenes breakdown from someone who was there out on the court battling against one of the greatest teams of that era. This is insane, but he's telling you blatantly what it is. I'll well, dive so, into so, the so details that so led me to... I'm going to read that, read that tidbit one more time real quick, Crutch. I'll dive into the details to, <laughs> that led me to think he outshined LeBron when it mattered most. Okay, let, would you go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm saying, so... As you continue to watch the video, like what was more of the stuff that he was saying? Like what? Was, so oh, just all the shit we say that we get called crazy for. No, it's, it's verbatim. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's verbatim. It almost feel like this ain't real though, because how much? It's like, crazy. It's crazy. You feel bro. me? It's crazy. Like, is he really sitting here doing the same thing that you've been doing, like day after day, the same strength, that the same shit, streaming the same exact series, bro? That it, people call crazy. you crazy. The people same call you series. Crazy streaming the series. The same series. Yep, streaming the exact same series. Like, do you, Ayo, you know, Ayo, you know Roy Hibbert or something, bro? Like, oh man, I can't, I can't, I keep low on that. <laughs> Shout out, Roy. <laughs> this is, this is nuts. That's why I told y'all, man. I really want y'all in the comments. For so y'all so know this, this is real, bro. This is real rap. That yeah, paragraph I, really I just to, read is real rap. I really want y'all oh, to follow it. To go uh, follow Chaz Chaz Page, I like dead ass want y'all to do that. So hey, look at this. See how I'm not lying. I put a link down that he got all of the footage from this exact series to where he be breaking down the film. We be trying to tell these dudes about D Wade though, man. Oh yeah, for sure. No, like D Wade, even our Rated G, Rated G witness it live, but Rated G has been in my lives watching me watch this shit online and break this shit down, bro. And <laughs> this the thing, though. like people look at. Like the stats, and be like, well, LeBron has thirty, but it's like if you just watch and you just see the dynamics that Dwayne Wade is bringing to the game on a consistent basis, it's like if I'm just being real with you, bro. No, no, all love to Roy Hibbert and that Pacers team. They were a really good team, bro. But the Pacers, the Pacers, I mean, the the Heat should have swept them every. They should have swept them. They, they should have beat them in five five games, no. max six every year. The like, Miami Heat underachieved, I think, bro. They did not max out their potential. No, they didn't because look, it, I I keep telling people this, bro, like. It all starts from the head down. When LeBron is binding to the system and he's playing as a system player yes. and everything is all together, they be blowing teams out. The moment he want to – I got it. Like, the moment he want to, like, I I'm going to be the PG, yeah, he going to get his points because he going to be the PG. He going to make passes, whoop de whoop do his thing. But then that's when the mar – that's what the other team wants you to do. That's when the margins become closer. And if y'all exactly. just look at the series, when Roy Hibbert was on the floor, bro, he was la – lack of aggressiveness. He was backing up off the ball. He wasn't cutting. He wasn't offensive rebounding at a high level. Things that Dwayne Wade that, consistently did. Dwayne Wade was putting uh, Roy Hibbert get, attacking him, putting him in foul trouble. And if you mm -hmm. hoop, you know you're not supposed to run away from the shot blocker. You're supposed to go into the shot blocker. You're supposed to hit him because you want to get him out the game because that opens up the whole lane for everybody else on the court. So the thing is, people can talk about, well, look at D-Wade's statistical in, in, in 2013. or But the thing is, okay, cool. D-Wade Wade not putting up big stats every game, but then you go look at Mario Chalmers. Go look at what Udonis has him going. Yep. Go, go all them guys. Go look at what they're doing. And then you just go back and watch the games like we've been watching on our, our on our, on our our uh, what you call it, on our live. Shout out to Pluto. Shout out to Ocha. Shout out to Crunch. Shout out to DA. Shout out to all the guys. But it's like, we breaking this shit down on a meticulous level where you're seeing everything we saying. It can't be known as hate. It's literally what's happening in the game, bro. Yeah, it's, it's that's why I say the, the truth really coming to light. Like, the only ones that's going to look crazy is the ones that really just act like they don't see it. And, yeah, and sure. to go to what you said, and to go to what you said about LeBron 
about uh, how they crumble down when he started to play like that. I think that's because he wants it to look like something is not. Oh so yeah, we, bad. we we had that conversation too, Crunch. He he wanted. He think the closest way he can get to the uh, the comparisons of Michael Jordan, from what we've heard about LeBron, when he talks about basketball, the main thing he always talks about is what? Oh, it's about legacy, legacy, legacy. So him coming in, he he think back. Okay, when they go, he know they not gonna go back. Everybody not gonna go back. A majority of the population is not gonna exactly. go back. Exactly. So he know. Okay, bet. How can I make them think that I'm even close to Michael Jordan? The right. only way he can do that is by if he get them stats and them Finals MVPs and them MVPs. He so he just wanted to look. He just wanted to look a certain way on paper. So, so like, when he lose, it's like they, the people are gonna go back and look in the history books and be like, "Well, LeBron was averaging thirty eight and eight. Man, it's sad. Like, bro, it ain't his fault. That's not gonna oh. last, though, bro. That's not gonna oh, last. No, for bro. sure, it's, it's the truth. Look, shout out Cat Williams. He said at the beginning on that Shay Sharp interview. Shout out Cat. Shout out Shay Sharp. Like, come on, yeah, this year. yeah. You already exactly. Like so, it's it's over with. It's, it's over, over with. already, bro. It's over. You like, can see, you can just see it. Like you can, like it's, it's the answer is literally right in front of people's face, bro. And it shows Wade though. Like this really does. This, this says a lot about D Wade's career, though, bro. Yeah, I see. Listen, like, like I'm talking about, t you know, top ten, top fifteen ish. Yeah, it, it shows his ability to like just take a step back. If, if you just listen to the commentators when they're like. When we're watching, obviously, I'm not saying listen to what somebody's saying. You, oh, yeah, that's that. Yep, yep, yep. Like, actually see if what they're saying lines up with what's actually right. happening. Like, if it's actually happening, then, okay, you can say, okay, yeah, what they're saying is true. It all depends on that. But what I'm saying is, I'm just saying, you just got to watch this shit. You watch this shit, and you'll clearly hear guys like, because Steve Kerr was commentating on that 2013 series. He was like, yeah, when LeBron is off the floor, Dwayne Wade can have more of an offensive attack, and he can grab the ball more. But people will look at, oh, well, this game, he shooting this, he shooting this percentage, this, this, that. But they won't tell you that a reason, a big reason why they was getting the most, of, getting back in majority of those games was because of the Heat's defense. Like, Lay yeah, it's five. like it's like it's like having him. It's like sometimes having LeBron on the court is a detriment, and Wade said, literally yeah, yep. has to he literally yep. has to clean up the mess and kind of like save yeah. the day in a way, and just and just, and just be humble about it. Yep, you know what I'm like saying in game, so. In game one when he hit, I think it was either game one, game one when he hit the game winning layup. Boom, cool, right? It's it's so many things they say that we're only break we only break down the losses. This is that. It's so many things I could talk about in that loss. I mean, in that win on why it had to come down to an overtime. Nobody talks about that though. Why is that's not a good thing? Why it's are you constantly good. going down to overtime? Why you got, is it constantly you got all this talent on your team and you just that's can't close it out cleanly? Exactly. exactly. That's why people look at oh the KD war because they got everybody ass up out of there. They had the talent. Get them up out of here. We're gonna play how we supposed to play. Beat these people. We're gonna beat them. Because right. at the end of the day, you gotta go out there and beat them. It don't if you give a, another opposing team a chance, they're gonna fight back because they're professional players and they got pride. And don't yeah. nobody want to just get swept. So I, I'm I'm like, this is my thing. I'm watching, I'm watching that, then I'm watching the complete difference from game one to game two. Game two, oh, he playing fabulous at the at the beginning of the fourth quarter. He hitting shots, hitting layups, whoop de whoop. But then he took a three, he missed the three. And then all he just went past it the rest of the game. Last two minutes of the game, last minute of the game, he threw two back to back turnovers, and then the Pacers won the game two off of that. Like it, it's it's just it's just the inconsistency of him. Okay, I'm okay. I'm actually gonna stay with the game plan. Like I'm gonna stay with it. It's just inconsistent, bro. That's like, why, yo. That's why bro. he had to get David Blatt fired, bro. And had to bring Ty Lue. The whole thing was, you know, Ty Lue gonna let him play how he wanna play and this and that. LeBron yeah. don't like buying them, bro, because he's not. He's not. When you have to play true basketball, he's not an elite player to me, bro. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it's, I really think it's a mental thing, like the game plan, this, because like you said, if, if people look back and see 2011, uh, uh, D-Wade Finals MVP, 2012, possibly D-Wade, if they really, uh, really, really maximize what they were supposed to. Okay, cool. 2012, he get it. Then 2013, then 2014, they win that one, and Chris Bosh probably get that Finals MVP in 2014, hypothetically speaking. If you go back and look at that, well, yeah, people going to be like, well, they four-peated, but what they going to say? Oh, no, it was a great Heat team. It was Chris Bosh. It was LeBron. It, 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 was, it wasn't just it, it, D-Wade. It, it wasn't just what people look at it as now as the general consensus. What did they say now? 
now. Oh, it's only LeBron. LeBron carried that Heat team. Exactly. He was by far the best player. Two finals MVPs. Exactly. Exactly. He was this. And that's, that's what he point. wanted because that's the only thing he felt like that he can get compared to Michael Jordan on because he looked at the general consensus of people. When they talk about Michael Jordan, they talk about what? The separator between him and Scottie Pippen and everybody else on his team. Well, he was this good. He won all the MVPs. He won this, this, this. So, so now people feel like, okay, well, he felt like, from my perspective, I'm deducing based off of how his career is winning what I've watched. He felt like he deduced, okay, in order for me to be compared to him, which I want to, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do this. So um, that, that, that's, that's gotta, it's, it's just, it's like it's he just gotta, weird. He got to deduce his teammate. Well, not him. Well, honestly, it's, he cooking up the narrative, but it, it's really his fans. So they got to, like, he got to um, reduce his teammates and, and Mills, to Scottie Pippen He didn't Pippen win the levels. finals MVP because people vote on it. They probably don't even watch the series, bro. Ask them why they didn't gotta, vote for D-Way. He yeah. got to reduce his teammates to Scottie Pippen level. Man, and, and it's, 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 it's just like when I'm – you got to think, bro. You got Chris Bosh on your team, bro. Like, the Chris Bosh was the perfect model of power forward for today. Like, he's the perfect archetype today, and that's in 2012. You got Chris Bosh as your third option, a six foot 11, seven foot dude who could protect the paint, rebound at a high level, show high on screens, that he can literally guard two through five. He, he can, like, like, he can catch and shoot the book of ball on the four and a half court. He can, he can, he can get his own mid range. He can play in the pick and roll. He can play a, 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 as a lob threat. He can play as a vertical spacer. He can play a, a pick and pop to the corner, pick and pop to the tray ball, create his own shot, attacking the baseline. That's literally like the, the, the mode of a, a fucking. Uh, power for today, that's, and this um, is in 2012. That's, that's like AD. This is 2012. That's like AD and uh, and Paolo Banchero. Yeah, I, I did give you an answer, Emil, because people vote on them that probably don't even watch the series, nor do they give us their criteria for why they voted for the Finals MVP. So I just let you know, Finals MVPs are voted on by a group a group of 11 panelists who each have a vote, and they never give us their criteria for why they voted what they voted. So next, let's continue. Like what? Uh, Stop this Finals MVP shit, bro. Hey, look, y'all. I'm a like I said. I'm gonna put Taz's link in the in the info. I mean, in the description, man. Y'all, appreciate let, appreciate y'all let us know how y'all feel about this, man. D. We, where do you rank him? Do you put him over LeBron? Um, do you look at? Do you think they was lying to us? Because I think they was lying to us. Yeah, man. I think they was lying to us. I, I think when 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 they all played clearly together, 2012, he was not clearly the Finals MVP. That's a damn right. Lie. That's, that's a what, lie. That's a lie. That's another thing. Him, what, him, what him, him. him. Either him, Chris Bosh, or um, uh, D Wade could have won it. Like all three of them could have could have had a chance, uh, had a case for winning it. And D Wade had a very high chance because D Wade was also closing out them games too. You know that you know that game too where they show y'all in, in 2012 where LeBron hit the bank shot off the glass in the clutch. Why they didn't show y'all when D Wade was taking over in that fourth quarter? Huh? Damn. They didn't show that though. They don't show that. They don't show how in game one, Dwayne Wade was closing the game down there, and LeBron was choking his, throwing up all over the place in game one. <laughs> they don't show that, though. Yeah, we're going to show it. Like, but of course not. They don't show how when LeBron caught a crap in game, what, game four, game five, game four, when uh when, when D-Wade and Mario Thomas closed the game out. They don't show that. They don't show none of that. But then they'll tell y'all where LeBron is by far the best player on their team. But what I'm clearly seeing in a, in a half-court dynamic in the playoffs when both of those players are playing at a high level, they're about the same level of player, bro. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> that's so what I'm saying, bro. It's, 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 it's cap. And I really think if you really, the only thing that really held D Way back was like after 2013 when he got hurt. And then even then he came back and he was still hooping and killing. They so was, he, add, he added good. different things to his game. He added different things to his game when his athleticism started to wane. He added more touch around the rim. He added more of a catch and shoot mid range jumper game. His post game got better. His ba- baseline catch and shoots, fadeaways, turnarounds. All these things got better because he, he learned, okay, but I know at some point with my injuries, my athleticism is going to go down. So I can't be playing like I was playing in 2011. I can't be playing like I was playing in 2010 all the way back to 2006. I can't be doing that. So he added different things to his game to make him even more dangerous on top of the fact that he was still tenacious and giving more effort and giving effort consistently night in night out even with injury so you got a player like that on your team bro and then you also got those other guys i'm not even mentioning the shane batty is the mike miller the john the jones, the, jones the uh the uh, chris boshes the donis has them the chris andersons I'm, I'm i'm not mentioning none of the ray allens i'm not mentioning none of those dudes who are norris coles one of the best uh uh, uh backup point guard defenders in the league at that time in the league. Like, I'm, not, I'm not i'm not i'm not mentioning mentioning none of those other dudes bro Mario Chalmers. I forgot Rio. Mario Chalmers. Like, I'm not mentioning none of those other guys who are also <laughs> the best team in the fucking effort. league, bro. Like, bro, that, that's what I'm saying. 
the, the, the trick is, I'm going to tell y'all, when you go back and watch those games, especially in like 2013, the reason why those series, those series stretched out so much is because yeah. of the, incons- the inconsistencies of LeBron choosing to play with the game plan and choosing to not play with the game plan. That's the difference. Now, yeah, um, this has this has some truth to it. Um, um, the way the way was better than LeBron his first eight seasons. Um. D Wade, D Wade helped him become a champion. D Wade was already a final MVP. Well, he ever said he was better than him in, uh, in 2013. Hey, that's he not. I'm not mad at him. Playoff series with him in the playoffs in 2013. He said he's better than him in 2012. D Wade, Dwayne Wade yeah, is the reason LeBron. Yeah, GT, I always say you say how Wade beat him to a chip. He did. He said, "Bring me up real quick." Okay, let's bring. Because you got to think of it like this, bro. He's the reason why you have a legacy. Without <laughs> you having a legacy, hey, on, you don't win nothing. Hold on, dude. Hey, hey, I got, I, got, I got a quick question. No, hold on, Grady. Okay, like who, who's about. the question to? What, what's the question? Okay. Um, so, how old are you? Who? Don't worry about that. You. Who are you, who are you talking to, Chaz? Yeah, Chaz. I'm infinite. Okay, infinite, right? Yeah. Infinite wants to remind me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, in first, the first eight years. Um, when you, when oh, that was him saying about the first eight, you know. I right. said that. Uh, Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Why do you think D-Way was better uh, besides, like, you know, naming the championship stuff? Like, overall... It was not consistently matter, but You can't leave that out. Oh, okay, that I know. Matters. Okay, but... Hey, will I'm, y'all, I'm, will I'm y'all be, like, was... besides the championship? Like, <laughs> what? What is that supposed to mean, bro? I'm not saying it doesn't count. I'm just saying I'm just trying to compare them to the players and, like, not adding, like, the team stuff. So I'm just trying to say, like... Like what made D-Way better? He was better. a big part of the team. Yeah. Wait, hold on, J two. Hold, hold, hold on, no, no, no. What, hold what on, Grady. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get him out of J two because I really want him to uh, dive in. I mean, dive in on that. What about the beating him to a chip? No, I'm saying like, why you think he was better than? Why you think Wade was better than Brown for the? Um, he was consistently yeah. making the playoffs. LeBron didn't make the playoffs the first two seasons. Uh, he was consistently no, no, his no, team to the playoffs. Um, winning, like I said, winning champion. He was winning a championship. Um, he was just overall better. LeBron didn't really make his so name until he joined him. What aspects, what aspects of his game Wait, hold on, made him better? Like, was he better on, playmaker hold on, hold on. I was going to ask him, I was really asking, hey, hey, JT, you think he's a better defender? Hell yeah. It's debatable. All right. Yeah, no. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm okay, nah, crunch, nah, nah. What about... Crunch and Chaz. Crunch so, and Chaz. So, so, in terms of... Okay. Let me say something, Crunch and Chaz. Uh, LeBron was robbed off of DPOI. Yeah, and I gotta go. Yeah, 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 yeah. How was he robbed? He's speaking nonsense. I gotta go. I'm dead. Uh, said, I gotta go. LeBron was robbed. LeBron was dropped off of a DPOI in 2013. Uh, I, I, and... I don't, I don't agree because especially throughout that 2013 series, I didn't see a DPO while level defense on Paul George. It was actually Dwayne Wade guarding Paul George majority of the time. LeBron caught him at some moments, but majority of the time it was either Dwayne Wade or it was Ray Allen guarding him, and they were doing a yeah. Damn I, don't, good job. I don't remember so, LeBron being like I, one of the best defenders in the league. Yeah, I don't Real see that. that's in the playoffs, though. Oh no, see, oh, if you well, if you talk about regular, I, I don't, I don't really, I haven't went back and watched forty of those regular season games. I haven't went back and really watched all of those regular season games, so I can't really tell you whether. Yeah, but everyone knows not. it's not really just a narrative. Everyone knows that he was. No, I, I, I don't, I don't think. I don't, it's, it's, a, it's a narrative. It's a narrative. Emil, Emil, give it up, clutch. Emil, how we get robbed? How we get robbed, bro? He gonna say this. He had the best Marcus defensive Gasol season then. Marcus, Marcus Gasol. Gasol. I think Marcus Gasol explain, got robbed too. Oh. How? Yeah. How did he have a better de- defensive season than Marcus Gasol? How? Uh oh, mute. Oh, oh man. you went to Google? Oh. Okay, oh, you're going to Google. Man. I respect that. I respect that. Search something up. Uh, better defensive rating is that? Is defensive that? win share or something? Yeah, win share. Oh man, come on, man. Where you at? You came up here asking a question quick. Come on. Hey, bro, yeah. damn, bro. I got locked up by J.J. Barea. I'm sorry. I'm going okay. to hold that till you're you done. I think Marcus saw that right. Okay, let me ask you this, though. Let me ask you this. Okay, so you conceded at that point. You conceded at that point. Let me ask you this. So you conceded at that point. That's over with. Okay, okay. Yo, so let's yo, okay. okay, okay. That's over with. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay, okay, boom. All right, let's not talk about 2013. I look like a clown right now. I look like a clown right now. No, okay, cool, it, cool. At least you know. All right, let's keep going. It's all okay. Good. I'm proud. Right, of you that was disrespectful. Anyway, that that was disrespectful, Chaz. Listen, you say you was a clown, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. You bro. said, you said, you said. At least you know. You at said, least you at least know. You know. So you I, 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 self, I, I, self, self awareness is a great thing, bro. Do you it's think? It's beautiful. 
Do you really think Steve Nash will have, should have won that MVP? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be real. I don't, I don't know where we're going. Nash. Where are we going? I, okay. Hey, what do you mean? Yeah, where clutch, you got this clutch. You got it, clutch. Nah, I don't want this one. Nah, clutch. No, you got it. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. Yeah, he don't get it. Why didn't LeBron LeBron win the MVP? Oh, I I don't wait when? When? You said you said LeBron should have won the MVP the year Steve Nash won it? In 06 and 07? Wait, 05, 06, or wherever whenever he won? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man, he looking shit up again. Oh man. I mean shit. I mean that's better than. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like he's googling the worst, the worst things <laughs> in the world or something. Like he's just. Shaq, Shaq should have won MVP that year. Yeah, no, let's I it. mean, yeah, honestly, those. Good. I think LeBron had better cases them years than what's cut than on um, the Miami years because at least he, at least he leading his own team. Hey, but this, this is my thing though, right, Crunch? Like, I like the. With 2019. The listen, 2019 <laughs> on the Lakers team. He uh, should. He was the main candidate in MVP game, right? and he got injured. No, Let me so, just put that. No, wait, wait, so he, uh, he should have won MVP in 2019 when he was injured. Wait, is the reason LeBron has a legacy? No, nah, I was just saying he was like the main MVP candidate before. MVP he was would have won MVP last year if he didn't get injured. Bro, you trolling right now? You just you just saying anything? I'm just I'm just putting that shot in the air. All right, for sure. That's cool. Twenty nineteen, he should have won the MVP, but that's <laughs> gonna get to him last year then. <laughs> LeBron gets the MVP every year for now on. I guess. Yeah, every year, just give it. Yeah, give yeah, the yeah, yeah, just give it. I, I stand on what I said. Co MVP every year, man. Yeah, Co year, yeah. There you go. Just put it. Matter of fact, we going I'm gonna talk to uh, the commissioner. We're gonna rename the award to LeBron James. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's on the board. You know how they do for it. I seen the Beyonce is. videos where they got thank you. Also, Chaz, Chaz, Finals MVP is an important award. Like it's. Oh, you no, can't no, just I, say. I, I, hey, Emil, I agree with you that it's quote unquote important. Important if it if we actually could get the criteria of why the voters voted who they voted. We're That's on here. Point. We're on here constantly, always asking each other for each other's criteria to validate why we feel the way we feel. Okay, we, but, Chaz, but we never, okay, we never, we are, never get, mm-hmm. we never get the finals MVP voters. We never get their criteria for why they voted who they voted. So until they okay, come out with their but, criteria, or unless the unless the winning team yeah, gets the votes for the finals MVP, yeah, I could like, care less about what they're talking about rather than what I'm seeing. I can't okay, but too. Chaz, the NBA every single year, the NBA chooses the people that do the voting they gotta they gotta like, tell us why though like they have to tell us why like the same way we have to the same okay, way we be on TikTok, the, the same way we be on TikTok and asking each other what's the criteria or oh, if you got kobe yeah. over lebron that's crazy nah, 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 and y'all be pressing me about that criteria so they cool, should have the same. they should have debates about it uh yeah, exactly i think so too i i, I to me honestly i, I think, think it should be the, the winning yeah. team who gets to vote for the finals MVP. I think the winning team should should vote. Okay, so how can the, anybody that's else? Like, that's like, somebody oh, saying the way is better LeBron. Oh, I right. like, well, like, both teams. Was, was, I listen. say both teams can vote for it. Listen, this is a good discussion. The last twenty years, what do who do you think should have won the final MVP, and who do you think like? But I, I, I'm gonna just I'm be gonna real with you. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just, just be real with let's you. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do every single season. We gonna cut it. We gonna cut it like this. No, it don't matter how. It don't matter how good you play. I'm gonna wrap it up at this. I'm gonna wrap it up at this. We can do this. I want to get to the real foundational basis of why I'm saying anything about the finals MVP thing. Period. To me, the Founders MVP, it don't really matter to me because when I'm watching what I'm watching, I can tell how much this ring should count for this player based off of his impact in that final series. Right. I can see. So I, I can see how impactful he is. And just Man. because one player, you can okay, have two players okay, that's playing at a okay. Finals MVP level. Okay, play. you're right. You're just right. The, same, the, same way, the same way in the regular season, you can have multiple players playing at an MVP level player. You can all, depending upon their impact in that series and the level of effectiveness, Chaz, how much that's like helping their team win and giving their team a higher chance to win, I can tell the players in that series how how high of a level that they are playing. Chaz, you're correct. You're correct. You're correct. You're correct. But there's, listen, listen, listen. Chaz, you're correct. But there's 11 people that decided and they, they were no, chosen. No, but they don't tell us anything. They don't tell us okay, why. But they don't need to tell us. You need to tell us. So if you would value, if you would value someone, if you would value, wait, wait listen, accolades. Emil, you see how you constantly <laughs> up here questioning me? You're constantly questioning me about why I think the way that I think. Go question the 11 people that vote for the finals MVP on why they pick who they pick. 
So why would they pick LeBron James? Why would like, they pick I'm, LeBron James? I'm not te- no. Listen, it's I'm not saying. He, no, my thing is when people try to make it seem like because you won the Finals MVP, that means you were by far the best, and that rings count for you, and it don't count for nobody else on your team right. just as much as you do. It's case by case basis dependence. It's case by case basis, bro. 2017, 2017, 2018. Steph Curry and Kevin Durant were both Finals MVP level players, bro. In that series, bro. In, in, in yeah. 2016, Kyrie Irving was also a Finals MVP level player based off of what he did in that series as well. That like yeah. so when people try to use the Finals MVPs to hold against other players to prove why this player is way better than this player because he has more Finals MVPs or MVPs, well it's nasty because just like with the regular season MVP, you can also discern that just because one player wins the MVP, that doesn't mean that one this player, this player, this player, this player isn't playing at the MVP level. Just like in the 2000s. On a year in, okay, year out basis, okay. you have five players playing at an MVP level. P- MVP level. That doesn't mean that the player who won okay. MVP is just way better than everyone else. Okay. Are, Amir, you saying, on, are you saying, are you on, saying, are you saying, are you saying, hold on, bro. Amir, hold on, bro. That's why I say, like, when you, when y'all just screen finals MVP and try to compare it to Jordan and them, it's not telling me who, who these players have on their teams. Like Jordan was winning Finals MVP, but so was Bron. But if you look at the next players on their team, which Bron know that you know what I'm saying, most fans are not going to do. Then it's like you see the actual difference for real. It's 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 a huge difference, bro. Like you said, LeBron had multiple players on his team playing at the Finals MVP level. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I don't think you can say the same for uh, Jordan, and I don't think you can say the same for Kobe when he didn't have a shot. Uh, what? Okay, so okay, so you all of you know Ball way better than me, but do you really think Derrick Rose deserved that MVP award? Yes, yes. yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Over LeBron, just oh, oh, MVP man, isn't on, always. Man. But that's the that's the whole point, though. MVP isn't always best player, but that's what people try to make it out to be. MVP means Hell, no, it's not the best, best player. player. Yeah. 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 How you how you the, the, the best player on the best team. I understand that, but LeBron deserved that MVP that, and in two thousand six as well. Over wait, wait, wait. Steve when, when did when did he um when did he hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on when did he deserve MVP? You talking about when D Rose won? That was what twenty. 11, yeah. 11. He D had a Rose super team. And Steve Nash. I'm, saying, why would you Man, Rose Rose a super team, I'm no. not trying to hear that because if, nah, if Steph Curry and player. Kevin Durant, they get disqualified from winning MVP. That's what I'm saying. LeBron, but that's what I'm saying, bro. Bro, bro, had, a stack, bro had a stacked that. team, bro. You not, bro. You're not telling me he's going to win in 2011, bro. He had a stacked team already, bro. Go look at what Steph and Katie was averaging with each other. They was both averaging the same thing that Wade and Brown was averaging. They was killing, and they and they Bro, told D-Bros us was the, the, the best media, player. the media. This is why I talk about the, the the lack of consistency from the media. The media told us in 2017 that well, we can't vote for them because they're on the same team. But Dwayne Wade coming into playing with LeBron was also another top five, top three, top four player, and he playing with LeBron James as well. But guess what? Oh, you telling me that? Oh, yeah, no, LeBron should have won it. That don't even make sense. It don't make no yeah, sense. You're right, you're right, you're right. And look, and that's why I say. That's why I say with full confidence that Steph over Brown, though, because they try to use the MVPs. This is where they try to use these accolades. That's why I can't put that on my criteria. Because Stephen Curry, like, literally checked all the same boxes Brown did, but he's just not getting the same love from the media. So, you know, I go off my own criteria. Uh, yeah. Listen. Listen, Wait, so Trump's, if we're basing off listen, play, you're basing, so if we're basing off play, you think Curry's a better all-around player than LeBron I, James? I know what I'm saying. Like, he's literally giving you the same production year in and year out. And LeBron is getting more praise for it. But Stephen Curry doing it in a winning effort more often. Winning effort. Listen, Crunch, I, I, I just gave a you a really good content <sighs> idea. So make a list right now for finals MVPs and MVPs. Like, let's all stay no, no, to the one. Matter of fact, I was about to say, yep. I'm going to wrap this stream up soon. But I'm going to do that after this stream right here. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Crunch, for letting me on. Appreciate y'all on the channel, on the panel, man. Shout out to Warriors, man. Hey, look, like I said, y'all. All right, y'all. y'all need to go follow Chad yeah, Joints. Crunch, yeah, Crunch, Crunch. Y'all want to miss out on Crunch, the, uh, you do your push-ups, stuff. right, Crunch? You look like you're both. Crunch, you do your push-ups, right? That that's a weird question to ask a grown-ass man. No, yeah, that's low-key kind of zesty, game. What that mean. It's not, it's not zesty. He that. just looks strong. It's not zesty. You just nah, go right, going to the act. Nah, I'll be going to the gym. I'll be too lazy to do push ups. You gotta get your push ups on. Oh, okay. I deadlifted 120 like yesterday, by the way, KG. Nah, I nah, I'll just decide. I go to the gym on a routine. Oh, you're putting that shout out there. Bench press? Yeah, I'll be working on that. But I almost hurt myself on the bench press. Oh, okay, okay. 
And that's all. Yeah, but that's why I'm saying the curry. Yeah, the curry production. Yeah, all that stuff. Right. Where? Why are you laughing in the conversation? Yeah, you fucking. Sorry. But I'm saying. But all I'm saying is like with curry, with curry and his production, it is the same as LeBron. But I'm just saying, like, if you're just basing off player, if you're basing off the player, and without no type of production, I feel like LeBron like clears. LeBron LeBron. has too many holes in his game. How is the production the same? I'm I'm really curious. Because they both perform at a superstar level. All around the curry. No, I'm saying because they both perform at a superstar level. Curry, I, 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 everybody yeah, but then everybody not winning for a ring like Chef Curry. Yeah, but Steph Curry, he didn't put. But every time Steph Curry, Steph Curry, Steph Curry didn't always perform at a superstar level. No, I think that he every time he went to the finals, he leveled up. Warriors, no, 20, 20, 20, so, 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 you, so you saying that? So you got Curry? Uh, I'd rather say it. I'd rather say it's Steph. It's Steph for twenty sixteen, but he lost that one. You know, that's an L. So you got KD, is KD, oh, what's it called? Is KD over um, Curry in 2017? Well, no, nah, because he didn't even prove nothing to me beforehand. What? No. Seth no. Curry had already proven, Seth Curry had already proven that he can beat KD when it come down to it beforehand. Hold on, hold on. So you're telling me that first, that first finals, he, he played at a superstar level? He did, but he didn't prove he can win no, it he yet. Didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> Seth Curry did not play at a no, superstar level. He did. He, he did. Played, he played. He, he, he averaged twenty six. Well, he averaged well, more than he, he averaged more than Miami. Ahead. He averaged more than twenty thirteen. Brown in the finals. All I'm saying is Steph Curry ruined basketball. Did, did Steph Curry? Well, is a yes or no question. Did Steph ball. Curry not drop in the NBA finals? No, he went up. No, in twenty fifteen he had went up. Yeah, but All yeah, right, he went up. Have, have a nice day, man. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to you later, bro. He went up. That's true. No, no, he did no, win no. a ring without him, but what I'm saying is he got he got Kyrie and Caleb got hurt. He literally dropped in that finals compared to his regular season numbers. He he dropped like the Titanic. You said Kevin like you said Kyrie and Kevin Love was was hurt. Who fought is that, bro? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right about that. But that's what I'm saying though. Like people give Curry a credit for LeBron that. LeBron already finals. lost the year before that. Everybody yeah. keeps saying Kyrie and Kevin Love got hurt. He lost the season before that when he had Wade and Bosch. So at the no, end of the day, no. like you, you, about still ain't, final, you ain't no winner yet. Like you feel me on on no type of level to where you. Just, I mean, to a, on a type of level to where you be dominating. He came off of literally losing. You're right. And the season, when and the season LeBron, before that, he only won because of Ray Allen. He where did the Miami Heat go? You said what? Well, Steph Curry. I said when LeBron, 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 LeBron They went to the second round. They went to the second round and yeah, but it was the second round. They went to the second round, right? But yeah. the Cavs went to the finals and get what happened? Because because you got the team up with uh, Love and uh, Love Kyrie. and Kyrie, so they, they the Heat didn't have a big three. Yeah, but they kept Kevin Love. Yeah. Yeah. Kyrie, Did Kyrie Steph Curry do the, the same Kyrie thing when he got Kevin Durant? Ball. But Stephen Curry already was in the finals back to back, low key though. But so was Kyrie, LeBron kept... James. But so was LeBron James. But he had a super team for both. We had a, literally a, a huge big three for both of the runs. But did he? Just but then Kyrie, what I'm saying, was able to do it just because he was that good at shooting. Crunch, crunch, crunch. What do you think about LeBron? Kyrie not in the dope debate. Why are you obfuscating to Kyrie? He's not in the dope debate. No, I'm not. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying Kyrie. Kyrie. Actually, got a slide though. Hi. No, I'm saying Kyrie. Kyrie didn't make the playoffs without LeBron, and so LeBron got okay. Yeah, LeBron made the playoffs without Kyrie. He went to the yeah. LeBron. Wait a minute. Wait. Time out. Time out. LeBron missed the playoffs his first two years, just like Kyrie. Facts. But they so don't understand it. Yeah, matter of fact, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Matter of fact, Crunch, didn't LeBron have more help? Didn't he had he more had help. Yeah. And all them boys? <laughs> That's what I'm like, come on, man. We got to stop. We got to call those boozers. Yeah, Boozer and all them dudes. Even Big Z was an all star in 05. Carlos Boozer, a bum. Carlos Boozer, that wait, wait, Carlos Boozer, that owned a redeem team? I don't think Carlos Boozer. Went to the redeem team? This kid kind of tough, though. This kid got a bag. I don't think Carlos Boozer is all of them. I said if he had Carlos Boozer on his team, I didn't say he was a Hall of Famer, but that's more help than what Kyrie had. Wait, you said only two years? Kyrie's been in the league for two years and he was all star already? No, no. I said Carlos Boozer. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. I said Carlos Boozer is more help than any player Kyrie had. So, yeah, uh, okay. We, we're taking Carlos Boozer over Anthony Bear, though, right? Bear, hell yes. The fourth one? What are you talking about? Anderson Bear. Crunch. Bro, <laughs> what is Anderson Bear's idea to be on par with Carlos Boozer? Tell me, please. 
Nah, hell, nah, 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 I'm sure they got that. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, call the schools, he got it. Crunch, crunch. What do you think about LeBron's 2018 season? Hey, hey, crunch. Put me on the big screen, man. I got, I got some. Uh, LeBron was complaining about Roy Hibbert, man. Hold on. It was a great, it was a great season. Um, yeah, but no, but no writing stuff though, Crunch. No writing yeah. stuff, of course. I did subscribe to your YouTube page. Uh, uh, yeah, appreciate that, dog. Yeah, of course, man. Of course. Hey, hey. So wait, hey, Crunch. Let's talk about this. What is this verticality rule he complained about? Verticality rule. Man, what? So Man, Hibbert's LeBron. real value was his defense around the basket. We know what LeBron is efficient at, where he was a master of playing within the NBA's rules on verticality, which is a player looking to block a shot and is only legally allowed to jump straight up and down with his arms extended. Hibbert mm-hmm. was so good at doing that that LeBron James seemingly frustrated with Hibbert and he proceed to be uncalled fouls against the big man. Again, the man is just jumping straight hey, up and this down. This is not such a big hey, deal. Yo, hold on, but I, Emil, I just said oh, earlier how LeBron struggled to uh, score against the big man. So I'm trying hey, to figure out why you against big men like that. Why are you complaining about fouls and the man is jumping straight up and down? He's not jumping towards okay. you. You could take a shot. Jumping up and down is still a foul. No, nope. it's not. No, it's not. Bro, yeah, LeBron yeah, is yeah. So no, LeBron. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so if yeah. LeBron is posting go, him up, I'm gonna go if LeBron uh, is posting him up, all right, bet, bet. So if LeBron.